internet. Today I am here to do a book review for a new middle grade book called The Hotel Between by Sean Easley. This book is going to be released on September 4th, so it's coming up, and Simon & Schuster was kind enough to send me an e-arc or advanced reader copy over NetGalley, so thank you so much to them for sending that my way in exchange for an honest review. So I read The Hotel Between this month, and I really, really loved it. To kind of give you an overview of what this book is about, like I said, it's a middle grade novel. It's about twins, Cameron and Cassia, who have never known their parents. They've been told that their mother's dead and nobody knows what happened to their father. And so they have been raised by their grandmother. It takes place from Cameron's point of view and his sister Cass is convinced that their father abandoned them, but Cam doesn't think that's what happened. He thinks there's more to the story. And Cam wants to find out what really happened to their father, especially since his sister Cass uh, has spina bifida and that is difficult on the family all around. Cam ends up stumbling upon a place called the Hotel Between, which is basically a magical hotel that has a lot of different doors to different places in the world and you can almost go anywhere that you want to go in the world. And he finds out that his father is connected to this hotel in some way and so he starts on a journey to find out what happened to his father and to learn more about this mysterious hotel. I absolutely loved this book. It was so much fun. Every Everything I'm going to say in this review is spoiler free so you don't have to worry about reading the book before you watch this. But I really really enjoyed it. I ended up giving it 4 out of 5 stars. So the plot of this book, it really kept me on my toes. Um, it's unlike anything I've ever read before. I had a hard time when reading it determining who the good guys were and who the bad guys were and I feel like in a lot of books it can be really obvious who's who but in this one it wasn't. and that kept it really fun for me the entire time because I really honestly didn't know who to be rooting for. The hotel itself is a really really cool concept. There's a lot of mystery and intrigue within the hotel but there was also a lot of danger and there was a lot of excitement and it was just a fun ride. Like I said, I've never read anything quite like this book before. I haven't read a ton of middle grade. Most of my middle grade experience is like Harry Potter and Percy Jackson and Rick Riordan's other books. I read some middle grade, you know, when I was younger, but I feel like those books are like the closest thing from what I read that I can kind of like relate to it since it's kind of, you know, fantasy. And I think that fans of like Rick Riordan would enjoy this a lot. Another thing I really really appreciate about this book is there was a ton of diversity. I feel like almost every character, whether they were in the book a lot or they were just a side character only there for like a couple of scenes or whatever, so many of them were from all kinds of different races and that was really really uplifting to see such a diverse cast of characters and like I mentioned also uh, Cass, Cam's sister, has spina bifida and she was a really awesome character. I really loved her character. I do want to eventually read some Own Voices reviews of this book though. I haven't been able to find any yet so if you know of any leave them in the comments so I can read it. I thought the author did a good job but you know I don't have spina bifida so I can't accurately say, you know, whether the representation was good, but I thoroughly enjoyed his take on everything and I really appreciated the fact that he obviously made a point to keep it very diverse. The only thing that I will kind of say that kind of hindered on my enjoyment at times was there are these things um, that in the story um, called pins and plugs and different things that make the hotel work. I don't want to get into the details on that because I don't feel like I ever got like a clear understanding in my head on exactly how those things work and how the magic makes those things work. I got it to an extent and I got it enough to enjoy the story and understand what was going on but there were times when I kept thinking, wait a second, how does this work again? And that did hinder my enjoyment a little bit, not a ton, because um, it was just a small thing, but I don't know if that was just me not getting it or if that was the way it was worded in the book or I'm not really sure what happened there, but that is something that I struggled with. And I also would have really liked to have seen Cass's character more present in the book. I mean, she was definitely present for quite a bit of it and Cameron thinks about her a lot and talks about her a lot and I thought that was great but I wish that she had been a little more involved like 
there in the plot. She was there a lot in the beginning and a lot towards the end, but I would have liked to have seen her a little more in the middle. That being said, I think that my favorite thing about this book was the family aspect. There was just this tone throughout the entire book of family and being willing to do whatever it takes to keep your family safe and happy and just the love that a family can feel for each other and friendship as well. Like there was really great friendships in this book I feel like and it was kind of a slow burn with some of those friendships but I think in a good way and I really really loved that that was kind of like the overall message of the book but yeah I don't really think I can say anything else about getting into spoilers but I will say I had a lot of fun with this book I think that if you're a middle grade fan you should definitely check this one out I think it's gonna be a wild ride for everybody I know it certainly was for me and like I said, I gave it four out of five stars and I highly enjoyed it. I will definitely be reading the next one when it comes out next year, whenever that is. Make sure you check out The Hotel Between. It comes out on September 4th. And again, thank you so much to Simon and Schuster for sending me an e-arc of this book so I could read it. That will be it for this video and I will see you guys next time with another video.